Hello everyone, you are watching a segment of the Countdown program from November 27, 2023, today is Monday. See all of our programs on Patreon, and thanks to everyone who is becoming our patrons right now. I will outline the topics of the postscript later, but now let's talk about the main thing. The commander of the Joint Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Lieutenant General Sergei Nayev, admitted that the Russians may try to seize new territories of Ukraine. According to Sergei Nayev, the war with Russia could spread beyond the eastern and southern parts of Ukraine. This could happen if Russia continues to increase its weapons production and technologically improve with the help of its allies. We are preparing for this. We are building defensive structures and preparing our forces, Nayev said in an interview with ABC News. And there is every reason for these fears. Nikolai Petrushev's statements that it is time for governors to prepare for a mobilization economy imply a shift in the whole cave to the rails of total war. Meanwhile, the odious reconnaissance pilot and ex-advisor Arestovich declared that the West abandoned Ukraine. He accused the collective West of failing to fulfill promises to supply weapons necessary to defeat Russia. According to Arestovich, this is the reason that the Ukrainian armed forces actually stopped the offensive at the front. In his Telegram channel, Arestovich wrote, The real responsibility lies with those who promised us, Ukraine, real support for waging a real, big war and did not provide it. Read it, throw it away, end of quote. In his opinion, Ukraine won its war in the first months after the Russian invasion, and it could have been ended even then with sufficient support from the West. And then another war began. And we could not win this other war without aircraft and long-range missiles and five times more supplies for the ground forces. None of this happened. We paid a huge price for this. And now, according to Arestovich, the West is again going to dump Ukraine by imposing a peace agreement with Russia. It should be noted that the topic of negotiations is being discussed mainly by Moscow. Especially after the interview with Arakamia, who accused Johnson of the fact that at one time the negotiation process had reached a dead end. Russian brainiacs spin the topic of negotiations like a monkey spins glasses. The general conclusion. Today such negotiations are perceived by both sides as an attempt to lull each other's vigilance, to rearm and prepare for an even greater conflict, and in general it is not clear what and whose guarantees will now be able to convince anyone. Become our patrons right now and look further in our program. The day before there was a hurricane in Crimea. You can, of course, tell the depths that it was Kyiv that tested climate weapons, but everything is much more prosaic. It is especially pleasant that the wave washed away some of the defensive fortifications of the Russians. The released hostage, Russian Ron Krivoy, said that he managed to escape from Hamas, but the residents of Gaza caught him and handed him over to the militants. Meanwhile, Israel can extend the ceasefire if Hamas releases 10 hostages for every day of silence. New footage has been released for October 7, the day of the Hamas attack on Israel. In the video, a group of militants breaking out from Gaza robs a gas station store. At the beginning of the recording, you can see two workers they were saved only because they managed to hide in one of the refrigerators. Watch in the program, Postscript. Against the backdrop of the vacillation of Putinomics, people in the cave began to whine about their readiness to get on the negotiation track. Meanwhile, Putin is preparing to speak at the World Russian People's Council. The bald man's keynote speech has been announced, and Dugan is already breathing unevenly. According to a Sotnik TV source, Germany at the federal level has recognized the error of its previous course and is ready to reconsider it. Thus, in the next few years, a modern combat-ready Bundeswehr army should be created, which will become the largest in Europe. And those who sympathize with the Russian world in Germany will be purged. And that's all for today, watch us on Patreon. Good luck everyone, see you on Thursday. Glory to Ukraine.